So we are having a fun time here um, trying to find a charger uh, based on the information given to us by charge map and the pictures of this so-called charger in a place called Cap Dag, which is on the Mediterranean and so we, there's this wonderful car park all in shade with thousands and thousands of solar panels um, and uh, in the we can we just cannot find these chargers but I can see Mrs. E. Nero in the distance waving to me to say I guess she's found it so we did find this and Mrs. E. Nero found the charger but it's not how it shows it to be on the charge map per pictures I mean say there's just acres and acres of empty car parking over th underneath thousands of solar panels which provide shade and but the electric charge is not actually in that bit it's in another little bit where the recycling bins are okay and you're in the full sun and in order to see <laughs> in order to see the panel on the charger you actually have to stick your head in there because you can't possibly read it anyway what a nightmare I mean yeah I've seen a lot of complaints from French people I my French is good enough to realize that they're not happy with the state of charging here in France um, certainly on this trip it's been an absolute pain but what a ridiculous situation you know you've got you know lots of you've probably got a couple of megawatts of renewable energy here I mean the Sun just shines pretty much all the time down here on the Mediterranean and there's there's just hardly any cars using this uh, and they stick the electric car charger actually outside of the car park which is free anyway um, with no cover what do you think of that this is Enira. I'm glad we bought a reflective thingy. Yeah, yeah, without come into use twice. Without that reflective thing, you just cannot see the screen. I mean look. Yeah, it, it, it's just un, unreadable in this bright sunshine. Anyway, it's gonna leave this here for a few hours and uh, at least we're getting uh, seven point two kilowatts. <laughs> How to move your palm tree. Or maybe a scene from Macbeth. Day of the Triffids on the beach at Cap Dog. So I've just driven down the narrowest street ever. I had to have the mirrors folded in. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, it was unbelievable. The sat nav took us the wrong way into the square here in uh, in uh, Lezier, and uh, it meant that I had to go for about ten yards, twenty yards, the wrong way down a one-way street to get onto the chargers. Uh, the Revio chargers again. You can't see the panel in daylight, in uh, sunlight. Um, it's just stupid. But it's just opposite the beautiful uh, Hotel de Ville here. It's, uh, this is Bézier, uh, a beautiful, elegant town in the Languedoc. <clears throat> There's the bus. So we're going to leave this for a few hours, go and explore with our masks on. to get the car through this incredibly narrow gap to get to where the charger is <laughs> not something I want to try again but luckily we did it with just a couple of inches either side uh, 
and uh, the charger is just down there on the left but I had to go actually the wrong way down a one-way street the, for about 20 feet maybe yeah 20 30 feet so the sat nav actually took me the wrong way but anyway we got to the charger and we've got about three and a half hours on the charger so that's not bad so here we are at another revio charger in a village called saint jean de sangoli um for once I'm sounding like a, I'm ranting all the time here, but <laughs> the, the sat-nav just isn't that accurate on the addressing, or charge map haven't got their addresses absolutely accurate. Thankfully, um, another user said it was near the Salle de Fête, and we're just across the road, which is like a village hall, Salle de Fête. But look how stupid this charging arrangement is, okay? So here are, here's the charger with two points but there's only one car place. So the car that's parked next to me, I thought was initially icing, but actually they're not. Because, because you can't actually get two cars in that space. So there's two charging posts, but you can only get one, and you can't possibly park in this lane here because this is pedestrians. Not that many people are here, it's a tiny place, right? But it just seems, yeah. Is anyway, we're off to find something to eat. So we are at a charger in the uh, town of Set, um, which is right by the sea. It's an old fishing village, and this charger says it's working, but it isn't. It doesn't work. Um, but. Uh, a gentleman's just walked over to me. <laughs> he's got a brand new uh, Hyundai Kona electric. Uh, he's only had it a week, and he said, "Oh, you don't bother. You don't need to worry about charging here. Uh, there's a little just around the corner where you can charge for free." And obviously, that doesn't show up on the charge map, um, but that's very kind of him. Uh, so we're going to try to uh, find this little now and see if we can plug it. meters or so away from the failed public charger we thanks to a bit of local knowledge we're getting some power for free and we are you know a few hundred meters from the beach so we're gonna have a wander along the beach rather than try to climb that hill I think I've changed our mind on that one <laughs> so I think we're at 56 percent and we're here to do some touristy stuff because there's a lovely little fishing village about a kilometre away, so we're going to have a walk along the beach to that. So that's the Lake de Salagu, and uh, we went swimming somewhere down there, first day we were here, and down in that village there, called, was it, Liaison, Liaison, is where we left the car, so, in fact, can we see it? Nope, not quite. You know, you come around the other side of this huge escarpment. It's all downhill now, but wobbly legs, wobbly legs very wobbly legs. Oh, wow. So after all that climbing, I can hardly move. 
or I mean it doesn't sound like a lot seven kilometers but it was it took us about four hours up steep hills and down uh, steep descents absolutely shattered uh, the car needs charging because we're off on our way home tomorrow and there's no rapid charger anywhere in Clermont Hero so we've come 20 kilometers south to a place called Peznaz and there's this place here called the Aero Energy Center. Uh, it's about two kilometers out of town, so there's no restaurants anywhere around. Um, but there's loads of solar panels up there. There's a rapid charger that is delivering 44 kilowatts to the car at the moment. So we've only got about another 15 minutes and we're back up to 80%. 80 and there's also um, a slow charger there, uh, you know, a 7.2 kilowatt charger. But uh, it's just nuts. I mean, uh, er uh, Clermont Aero is quite a decent sized town, you know, and it hasn't got any, uh, any chargers at all in it. Anyway, uh, looks like we're all going to be set for tomorrow now, um, going home. And um, yeah interesting holiday.